Well, it's Friday. I'm out here at the park going for a walk. Or should I say run? Because he don't walk nowhere. He runs everywhere he goes. But anyway, we're at the park. It's pretty sunny out here. Not very cold at all. So it turned to be a nice day. We had temperatures down into the 20s last night. But then it warmed up today. The sun came out. It's nice and you see the sky is blue. It really looks nice. So anyway, we're out here walking around. And there's a school bus just turning around. But anyway, like I say, we're out here on a Friday. And uh, I'm just walking. We're cold. I'm walking. He's running, like I said. But um, yeah. So a little bright, sunny. Got the camera turned this way with the glare from the sun. A little bright. But uh, there aren't no aren't many people out here because we had a few days of cold weather. So that pretty much runs people into the house, especially when they're used to having warm temperature. But uh, it doesn't bother me. And this trail isn't very well traveled that much anyway. You know, this is the trail that leads from this park here through the woods there all the way to uh, Yates Park, Yates uh, Cider Mill, excuse me. Um, so, yeah, most people just uh, just drive to the cider mill because they got a parking lot there, and they get their cider and donuts there, and uh, they don't do the walk through the woods, but uh, they're missing out. You know, after a good long walk through these woods to get to the mill, then once you get there, you know, worked up an appetite, you know. You sit down and get you some donuts and some hot cider and sit there and warm your bones up and drink your cider, eat your donut, replenish your energy. Then when you're done, you can uh, take back off and come back through the woods, try to burn off some of that fat you done gained. But, uh, but don't do that. I don't know what that is, that noise. But um, we got a lot of leaf falling down in here. And uh, temperatures are a little crisp, but it's nice. Here he goes, here he goes. The leaf, leaves are changing. Really uh, getting uh, a lot of color going on. That's how they do just before they fall. And uh, the visibility to the woods is getting a lot better because of the leaves falling. Much better. Okay, I got some roots here. I'm not really dressed for this. I got my dress shoes on and pants button shirt kind of dressed up today and whatever you know it's Friday I was gonna go to the movies but you know that didn't work out but uh I wanted to see the James Bond movie I'm probably gonna do it sometime this weekend if not the early part of next week I can't take cold with me I don't dare leave him in the in the truck there's a sign for the cider mill this way but uh yeah it's been a long time since I've seen a movie at the theater because of uh, the pandemic I really could go for some popcorn that would be nice I've got to find out what that noise is what do you think that is, Cole? I know you hear, oh, there's some mud right there. Like I say, I don't have on the right kind of shoes for this. But, uh, 
so nice out here. I had to come out and uh, there's a dry spot there, so I was able to go around it. Huh, there's a little puddle there on top of the hill. What is that? I gotta see what that is. It looks kind of strange in the middle of the woods. It looks like ice, but it's not cold enough for there to be any ice. But that's what it is. No, it's not ice. It's just the sunlight shimmering off the leaves, off that water. They trickle down off this hill here. So, but I had to see because it caught my eye. You know, anything that looks unnatural looks like broken glass. But it wasn't. So I had to check it out. I've got to find out what that damn noise is. Sounds like lumber equipment. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera or not. I'll be quiet so you can hear. Now, since I got quiet and listened for a minute, instead of talking, it sounds like a stump grinder. One of those things they used to, after they cut the tree down, they used to grind the stump down to, to ground, ground level. You know, so they could uh, the plant grass over it, or it's not in the way for nobody tripping over it or driving over it or nothing. But I can't be sure. And, uh, from the sound, I can't judge how far away it is. So, I don't know. Man, it's nice today. This wouldn't be a bad day to go to the uh, shooting range. But it's a little late now. By the time I go all the way home, and get my guns and ammo and the, the clay launcher. It'll be dark. I know it's probably around four, four, maybe 4.30 afternoon now. That sun, once it starts going down, it just drops and it gets dark real quick. So anyway, I've been hearing a lot of stuff about this winter, about it being really bad, and uh, I don't know. I'm pretty well prepared, but uh, even still, I plan on going south for the winter anyway. Uh, I'm still working hard to try to catch my bills up so that I'm a few months ahead before I go and then uh, and plus uh, I'll be able to get my feel of winter you know and plus you know it'll be uh, tax time so I want to take care of that before I go and then uh, you know and then go and that way uh, sometime while I'm gone, my tax return money will come on my account, and it'll be a nice little shot in the arm once I get down. You know, it saved me last year, big time. But uh, we'll see what happens. The one thing I don't want to happen is to take off and go south for the winter and be down there nice and cozy and safe. And uh, things get really bad, like they're talking about it getting. And uh, and uh, people raid my house and take my stuff. You know, because if it gets as bad as they say it's gonna get, 
to the point where people are starving and there's so much snow that you can't get to the grocery store or get anywhere pretty much in cold temperatures and people's houses are freezing up pipes are freezing and bursting and everything like they say uh people will be become marauders you know they'll be taking what they can get from the houses that are that are vacant or that there's nobody staying at you know and if they know that i'm not there you know my house might get targeted that's the last thing i want to do is come back to find my house raided you know because you know, i got a lot of supplies there more supplies than i could take with me but uh if i stay i'll be in the house my supplies are, i'm very confident that i can make it through the winter pretty much anything the winter can dish out you know but uh if it gets as bad like i said it gets as bad as they say it's going to get people may be coming to my door looking for help you know and uh i'm not a cold-hearted bastard I, i'll help what i can you know but uh I can't take care of everybody. And I'm gonna be very frugal with what I do do so they don't keep coming back to me. You know, if there's some kind of government assistance or whatever, then I'll take advantage of that along with everybody else. But we'll see. It's still up in the air. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna play it by ear. Now, I have noticed the gas prices are going up big time. You know, I mean, since last week, around here, they've gone up 10, 15 cents a gallon. That's a lot. You're used to seeing 310, 315, and now you're looking at 335, 340. That's, that's a lot of money. But, um,. I'm thinking that the prices are going to go down for the holidays. Usually on the holidays, it seems like the powers that be lower the gas prices with hopes that you'll uh, travel. They want you to travel, so they'll lower the gas prices. So you'll be like, hmm, prices aren't too bad. We can travel. We can go down and see grandma. And people will do it. And then once they the holiday is over then they raise the prices back up again and then uh, it's back to normal and they raise the prices back to where they were before and more I'm kind of hoping to catch the gas prices on the downswing when they bring them down and then uh, maybe fill up a 50 gallon drum with gas 50 gallons of gas is enough to be able to uh, hold out with a generator you know it'll power my generator and it'll power my my truck you know if I have to I used to say bug out you know but it gets to a point where if you bug in for too long you ain't getting out you might as well hunker down and uh, do what you can do where you are. Shelter in place. Look at him go. See now, he's pretty much at the top of the food chain around here. So he can run around crazy like that all day long without a care in the world. But uh, once we get down to Florida, there'll be snakes that uh, he don't want to run into. There'll be alligators that'll snatch him out uh, and, and drag him in the water. So he might not be able to do this down there. This running around he's doing. So and there's probably bobcats too out there down there so uh 
I'm probably gonna have to put him on a leash if we go down there. Because uh, there are wild animals in places over well. here in Michigan. We got wild animals, but he ain't gonna run into nothing he can't handle in this area. Maybe further up north, we got coyotes and bears and who knows what else. In the summertime, you got snakes. But uh, this time of the year, you ain't gotta pretty much worry about those snakes. And uh, we don't have any bears loose running around down here in this area. And uh, there are foxes, but being that they're solitary and uh, Cole's got a pretty mean disposition, I think he can handle any fox you know, pound for pound. But uh, coyotes, that's another story because they work together and he will take off after dogs. And, uh, but he pretty much will come back when I call him. But uh, he's been pretty good. He's going to get a bath tomorrow to take him to the, to the groomer. He's gonna get him a, a good bath, cleaned up real good. Oh, looks like he's got the scent or something. What's going on, buddy? What's going on, Coley Coley? But anyway, I'm gonna play the winner by ear. Like I say. I kind of would like to go up north, you know, within the next couple of weeks, you know, just like a, a weekend thing, except I won't do it on the weekend, I'll do it during the week. If I do it, it'll be like, um, maybe I'll take off, work, last day I'll work, I'll work that Friday, and I'll come back the following Monday, you know. So I'll have like eight days. There'll be enough time to, to drive to wherever I want to go and come back or whatever. Because when I drive, I only want to drive during the daytime when I can see stuff. And I want to stop and camp along the way. The following day, you know, I'll drive all day, one day until night and get to my destination and then stay there that night and all day the following day and then uh, maybe the next day or maybe the day after if it's a really good spot maybe I'll take two days and stay at two days and then come back and then go to a different spot and stay you know but we'll see I don't have any destination planned just I just want to go up north you know Maybe get some pictures and drone shots of some trees and stuff. You know, the colors, the fall colors. You know, not that they're not bad down here, but uh, with all the forest they got up there, that would be spectacular. But uh, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. <sighs> anyway. Mm. I think I'm gonna go to. No, I'm not gonna go to the mall. I was thinking about going to the mall and stopping at the food court and getting some Chinese food. I got some the other day and it was delicious. But uh, I got food at home. Maybe I'll stop at Kentucky Fried Chicken. Ooh, that's some good firewood right there. What I need to do is go get some firewood. <clears throat> yes, I do. That's all firewood right there. Good wood there for a campfire. <clears throat> you can't do one out here though because you're right over by the road. You're gonna see a fire burning in the middle of the woods. They're gonna call authorities. You know? Now you might be able to get away with it down in that gully right there because you'd be sheltered on all sides by the hills. Nobody can see you down there. 
So you could have a fire. As long as you got a smokeless fire. If you got smokes coming up, then you're gonna bring in the posse. As long as it's smokeless, it could be done. That's kind of a low spot down there though. I don't like being in low spots because of you know rainwater coming in. Over here I'd have to park my truck in the parking lot. And uh anybody sees a empty truck sitting in the parking lot out there they're gonna wonder where the owner is and uh they might send a search party and that I don't need no I do not need that but anyway I'm running out of stuff to say so I'm gonna uh, cut this short We ain't got much further back to the truck anyway. So, I'm just gonna double time it on the back before I tear my shoes up out here. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.